Yeah, hi, Letha. This is Michael Buckoff from BetterTofelScores.com, and you made you took a integrated writing practice test uh, on one of the password protected pages of my site. So let's take a look at it. So if I remember correctly, you read a reading passage about garlic, and in the reading passage, it discusses basically the history the historical uses of garlic over time. And then you read a, uh, you listened to a lecture which discussed the medicinal benefits of garlic. Now, certain things in the listening passage, they strengthened certain points, I think, in the reading passage, and other things did not strengthen certain points in the uh, reading passage, right? So, um, I think the using I think the uh, reading passage talked about how people use garlic to cure illnesses and things, and then it expanded more on that in the lecture. But then it said in the uh, reading passage that people use uh, garlic to get more courage, and it didn't really confirm that information uh, in the lecture. So here's what you say. Uh, the listening passage is similar to the reading passage. Furthermore, the listening passage explains the medicinal benefits of garlic and strengthens the reading passage. So, I'm not sure that that topic statement works that well. You might start off saying something like this. The topic of the reading passage discusses the historical benefits of garlic uh, over time, and the listening passage includes the medicinal benefits of garlic. And in some cases, uh, casting doubt, and in other cases, strengthening the points made in the reading passage. So you get to your next paragraph. In addition to the historical benefits as mentioned in the reading, the listening passage mainly discusses about the scientifically proven medical benefits of garlic. The lecture casts doubt about the courage of workers who use a garlic as mentioned in the reading. The medicinal benefits include raw garlic, uh, your grammar is kind of screwy here. You want to say the, med the medicinal benefits includes that raw garlic can kill uh, 22 different kinds of bacteria. Now, in the next paragraph, I'm looking at this. You want to make sure when you're mentioning this where this information comes from. Is it coming from the reading? Is it coming from the lecture? Um, so you say, in addition, crushed raw garlic kills a type of bacteria called staph by causing their cells to swell and burst. Moreover, the vapors of heated garlic can kill germs up to eight inches away and up to four hours. Even cooked garlic uh, has also got medicinal value. Uh, heated garlic has got uh, uh, medicinal values like a blood thinner, Furthermore, oil from heated garlic helps to reduce blood pressure, prevent strokes, and even prevent heart disease. In addition, the heated garlic oil produces a chemical which may reduce the growth of cancer-forming cells. Furthermore, those who use garlic regularly have several health benefits. In conclusion, the listening passage strengthens the reading passage by giving more scientifically proven medical benefits. Um, I, I, I think you kind of understand what you're trying to do here, but I think it's really tough for you. You're trying to position or do what I call synthesis. You're trying to put information from the listening and the reading together. Uh, it's really tough to do this. You get a high score if you do, but it might be better for you at this point. When you get to the second paragraph, focus more on the reading and discuss the main points of the reading passage. Then when you get to the third lecture, uh, discuss the main points of the listening and specifically state how it relates to the information in the reading. So, what you might do in paragraph two, say the, the, the main idea of the reading passage is discussing the historical uses of garlic. So you talk about how Marco Polo used it and other voyagers and explorers and how they use it to travel long destinations, right? Then you get to the third paragraph, you say, uh, uh, the lecture strengthens some of these ideas mentioned in the reading passage in that it focuses around the medicinal benefits of garlic. 
and then you can mention what those benefits are. Now you can also mention in that paragraph or in another paragraph how it does disagree with the fact that garlic can be used to give people more courage. It doesn't really confirm that information uh, in the lecture. So I think you probably need to organize a little bit better. If you look at your topic sentence in the third paragraph, you say, in addition, crushed raw garlic kills a type of bacteria called staph. That's a really specific idea, probably not a good topic sentence. So if you divide up the lecture into two areas, you can divide it up into two parts. It has medicinal benefits uh, with raw garlic, and there's also additional medicinal benefits with cooked garlic. And you could create your topic sentences focusing around those two key points. Then you can give details from the lecture that support each of those points. So I, I think that you still need a better organization of how you organize uh, this particular writing task. So you're probably looking right now, uh, I think around 3.0 out of 5. So what does that give you? You're looking at maybe 18 or 19 points out of 30, I think, on this particular writing task. That's probably the score I would give you right now. So it's a little bit messy how you're organizing your ideas, but I, I think that you do understand what you're trying to do, but you're having difficulty demonstrating it in the uh, practice writing test.